And the road to freedom for the Hires brothers started, believe it or not, with a Facebook posting. Good evening, I'm Stephen Clark. And I'm Carolyn Clifford. That posting led to new evidence and new witnesses in the case, testimony that could clear the Hires brothers of murder. Today, Judge Lawrence Talon granted the pair bond. They were convicted way back in 1987 in the murder of a 65-year-old man at a drug house in Detroit. Last month, Judge Talon threw out those convictions based on new testimony from witnesses who had not come forward at the time. 7 Action News reporter Cheryl Choden is live in Hamtramck tonight. And that's where the brothers got their first taste of freedom. And Cheryl, it had to have been an amazing thing to watch two men who have not been free in 25 years. Amazing and very emotional. They walked out of Door K here at the Dickerson facility just after 8 o'clock. 35 to 40 relatives were here, some so young they had never even met them, others they haven't been able to touch in more than 25 years. There were cheers and a flood of emotion and non-stop hugging when Raymond and Tommy Hires walked out of jail tonight, free for the first time in 25 years. I, I, in my heart of hearts, I knew this day would come. <laughs> it was like a wave of uh, love, a love wave. <laughs> yeah. It must be it feels long good. Waited. Yes, it's, it's long and overdue. It's fantastic. It's like hitting the lottery, man. <laughs> I can't even express the feelings that I have right now. They're just, they don't sell these at Macy's. <laughs> it was all about the tethers and whether jailers could get the paperwork and get it done tonight. They called us. It was just like, oh, <laughs> it was wonderful. That's what life's all about. Oh, thank you for everything. In the middle of the celebration were the brothers' lawyers who never gave up. They never gave up hope. And I don't never. know, never, 25 years, they believed that the justice system would, would exonerate them and that this day would come. And I, I think that's astounding. We're not going to let anybody down. We're going to be productive citizens and we're going to make everybody proud. And showing up a few minutes after the release was their trusted private investigator. Just so amazing when I realized that they really, really didn't do it. These two brothers convicted of a murder in 1988 maintained their innocence from day one and a Facebook posting changed it all and brought new evidence. We think about how astounding it is that one Facebook post that's right. By Blew this that all could not even be here today. Right, because the because of the court. court well, we, that's all right. It's but one Facebook post started all of this. But we're looking forward to our day in court, and um, mm -hmm. I think we're going to be all right. I miss you. <laughs> now that they're free, while awaiting a new trial, there are some things they say they just need to do. I want to go visit my mom's grave and say my goodbyes, because I uh, never got to do that. And after more hugging and loving. Right in style, boys! Yes, this is right beautiful! Love you! Love you, we'll see you at the house! All right. They headed to their aunt's house for a family dinner. Thanks for everything, guys. They've been waiting 25 years for. Now, those GPS tethers, they have to wear them all the time, but they can go out from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. They have to wear them, though, and not only are they GPS tethers, they also detect alcohol, so they cannot drink while they are out. They can keep the tethers on through all the new proceedings and a new trial. They can stay free as long as they don't violate the bond. Their aunt posted bond for each. It was $10,000, 10%. Before they walked out of the jail, that bond was $1,000 for each of them. A lot of emotion. Two very happy men tonight who had a probably a very good dinner they had waited a very long time for at the jail i'm cheryl choden seven action news